For those of you who are new to my channel, my name is Laura and I'm a retired makeup artist. I wanted to do a YouTube channel to help mature women uh, with their beauty, self-help and lifestyle needs and so I'm having a lot of fun reviewing products, especially those that are or could be very beneficial for mature skin. So in terms of Lawless Beauty, I had never heard of this brand before. Uh, and so I wanted to do a little bit of research on it. It is owned by, so the founder, I mean the founder is gorgeous. Her name is Annie Lawless. That, Lawless is obviously her last name. And she explains that she created this foundation. To tell you about. So essentially the idea is, is that it feels like a serum, but essentially it's like a full coverage foundation. And you guys will see me put it on here shortly. I will do a demo for you. Um, and I've been using this for a few days just because the consistency is so very, very different. I just wasn't used to working with it. But I'm, I have to say I'm pretty amazed by this little guy. I can tell you when I saw it, I thought, oh, this looks like not very much um, product. But it is 1.01 fluid ounces. So it's not like it's uh, you know smaller it just looks smaller because of the container it's actually a very sleek little little container and it basically has a, a little screw top with a dobby on the end and that's actually a very sanitary way to make uh, a foundation I like that it's a pour out you don't stick your fingers in it and it does pour out and I'll show that to you guys just to explain like what's so unusual about this product I'll just take my glasses off for a second is that you know it I'm just gonna tuck my hair behind my it fuses as she explains it fuses with the skin so that it doesn't look like you're even really wearing foundation but yet you're getting coverage it is absolutely so unusual and bizarre and unique uh like I f kind of loving it the way that it feels, it feels like skincare on your face. You don't feel like you're wearing makeup. It's just unreal that way. Um, the actual color that I have here is called Golden. And pleasantly surprised at the color that I got. I am a little bit tan still from the summer. Um, but the range is fantastic. I think it looks pretty good to me. I see, you know, a quite a good light to dark scenario with lots of in between so you should be able to find your color no problem the cost i believe was 48 dollars canadian totally different in american dollars so sorry about that you guys the uh exchange and all that jazz it, everything costs more here it has antioxidant and blue light protection and she says that there's a couple ingredients that are anti-irritants and it surely is like absolutely no irritation to this foundation which is kind of amazing. It has n nasturgium flower extract and goji berry extract. I don't know too much about those extracts. Those are rather new and you know something I just haven't seen a lot of. Uh, in in this ingredient list and that is supposed to have quite an antioxidant effect to it uh, and blue light protection which is all amazing to just all throw into a foundation it claims to have a blurring uh, effect to the skin but it's completely talc and silicone free so many things you guys I also, you know, went for a walk with this foundation just to kind of see how it is if I sweat a little bit and it wore really, really, really well. But I don't know, I'm just gonna come up a little bit into the camera to show you guys. But it's so seamless. I mean, it just blows my mind how seamless it is. Just enough coming through of freckles because I don't mind, you know, showing my freckles a little bit. And I'm just blown away by how a serum can do this. Maybe this is the direction we're moving into, which is kind of exciting. And yes, I think you guys just, you've got to maybe give this a try and see what you think. If you're looking for a foundation that is healthy, good for your skin, and doesn't feel really like a heavy foundation, but gives decent coverage. Like I am not upset with how this coverage is. Once it goes on, it just really feels like it's 
part of your skin. I don't know how else to explain it. Uh, but you know, it's not, it's very few and far between. I tried about three or four foundations this last month, new ones. And it, there was nothing I was excited talking about except until I got this one. So I encourage you guys to go at least test it out or try it or if you can get a sample or anything like that because I do think it is worth the try and definitely uh, it's definitely an amazing amazing little product so I will show you guys me putting it on and you could see it for yourself and then I'll do a wrap up okay let's take a look at this foundation from lawless it is called the conceal the deal longwear full coverage foundation and this is what it looks like i've actually tried this foundation for a couple of days the texture was so unique and strange to me that i i wanted to make sure i could even do a proper review on it it was i'll show it to you guys in a second but just to give you the info on it basically i mean it it's it's got a, a pretty good color selection for, uh, you know, tones, but it is selling out at Sephora. It is such an unusual, unusual, unusual foundation. Okay, so it's what it is. It's a long wearing, lightweight, fluid foundation that delivers modern full coverage with a self setting, natural matte finish, vegan and silicone free. And obviously um, I prep my skin already that's already done and you're supposed to shake it well to ensure the most even application it's for high medium to full coverage but when you guys see this it's like what okay let's let's get this opened up you know for us with mature skin uh, sometimes wearing like a thick feeling foundation isn't the nicest and I have been noticing over the summer I'm desiring a less and less heavy foundation and I thought wow I'm going to give this a try it's supposed to give an airbrushed effect and uh, finish it mm, you can use a setting spray obviously on top but I watched the owner do her video on this and I saw her do it with a sponge and with a brush and she really really recommends the brush so I'll show this to you guys in my hand so I'm just gonna pour this out so, so you guys can see when you it's really really liquidy if you can see that and I'm just going to run it down my hand you see how it's kind of like super light and spreadable and um, I was watching her do it with the brush. I'm like, dang, that's giving coverage for this thin little foundation. So let's just give this a try. Like, see? I mean, I think the color is okay. It's, no, it's okay. I'm just taking a little bit up onto my brush that I put onto my hand and trying it on. At the same time, having a hot flash. <laughs> of course, of course, it wouldn't be a normal video day without a good hot flash in there. But you guys can see I'll kind of do half my face here so that you can catch, catch the coverage of it. The only thing is that when I saw the bottle, I felt like I felt a little ripped off because it looks small to me. I don't know. I'm just going to take my sponge and kind of move this around I'm gonna put a second coat because it does say that it's buildable so okay so I would not say that's full coverage right at this moment but let me let me just give it another pass uh, the, the only thing I'm concerned about with this is it you know it can use a lot up when you're using a brush all the time Give it another pass here and see. Strange, isn't it? It's really a different consistency. It's really like thin, but I'm trying to get the vibe of the, um, it's got kind of like this amazing skin-like effect. And now the owner said you don't have to actually set this with powder if you don't want to so you could 
definitely um, just do this with a bit if your if your concealer is self self setting, but if it's not, you might need to conceal a little bit around the eyes. So that's half my face, so you guys can see it. And it doesn't streak too badly, but it dries down, and it really <laughs> you can't feel it. It's why I thought it was kind of like wild, but it does give decent coverage. I mean, it took me two passes, but it does give that decent coverage. And um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to go and finish the rest of my face and then um, give you guys my final thoughts because I just I want think this to. This foundation's to been out for about a month now, but uh, it, you know, in case you've overlooked it, take take a better look at it. I think it's worth the look. And I can't thank you guys enough. I hope um, you guys, uh, yeah, I, I went with, I'm starting to play with mattes, you guys, because it's fall. So I've got all, all, all matte today on my eyes and, you know, face and stuff like that. A little bit of highlighter here, but, and some lip gloss, but, you know, the eyes are matte. Because, you know, bringing the 90s back and I'm kind of laughing. It's, it feels like the 90s was yesterday to me. Anyway, I hope you guys are having a great weekend. And it was great, good to see you. And I just want to, uh, yeah, let you know. it's um, If it's time for a new foundation, maybe this is the one for you. We'll see you guys real soon. Don't forget to like and subscribe. It means a lot. Ciao for now. Bye, guys.